Hey guys, it's Emma. Um, let's talk about echolalia. First of all, a definition. If you just look up echolalia on Google, the first thing that'll come up for the definition is meaningless repetition of another person's spoken words as a symptom of psychiatric disorder. What? Tourette's? Yes. Another thing you might have heard of is echopraxia, or I don't know if I'm saying the right, echopraxia, echopraxia. I say echolalia, so um, I might not pronounce it exactly the way people may want and sound out everything, but um, whatever. Echopraxia, if you've heard of that, that's um, when you repeat someone's movements. Like if I were to do this, someone else would do this. And with Tourette's, echolalia and echopraxia are both dominant traits. And um, not everyone with Tourette's has echolalia, but um, I do. <laughs> I have echolalia, and that's one of the parts of my Tourette's. Just like, I've made a video on corporalalia like years ago, you've probably seen, and I don't have that, but um, that's the one where you shout, shout the obscene words. But yeah, so echolalia is like, as it says on Wikipedia, an unsolicited repetition of vocalizations made by another person. The un and the unsolicited repetition of vocalizations is copied off of what someone else has done. So, um, this has been kind of a thing that has been prominent, like, as, like, that I've suffered through a little bit through life. When my brother was a lot younger, and even sometimes still today, um, he would make a lot of repetitive sounds because, you know, like, when you're five years old or even now 13, you might still make, you might, you know, like, mm, that was my least favorite one. He was, see, now I have to do it again. Hmm. He would do that all the time and my parents would, what a good video to make, Emma. This is really going to help you out. So my parents would, um, tell him like no you can't do that and I'd like I'd like sometimes scream because I'm like dude literally yesterday we told you not to like whistle repeatedly blah 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 and like I feel like he understood at such a young age um even so like I feel like even at that age like, he understood what was going on that he wasn't allowed to do it and maybe like he didn't understand that it was to a level of severity where like I really couldn't have him doing that all the time um but like he still did it because, like, he's little brother and he's, like, not taking into account how much this actually does hurt me. Because he might not, he doesn't understand. Like, lots of people, you don't understand a lot of things unless you've been through them, you know? Ugh. But a good way that I like to explain echolalia, um, when I'm like, yes, this is harmful to me. Like, I don't like this. I don't like that you keep doing that and that I have to do it, I have to do it after you. Here's how, here's how I'll explain it. Here you go. You may make this sound for seven seconds, and I will make it for seven years. Okay? Like, take into account that if I asked you to please stop making that repetitive sound around me, and loudly, and vocally, which, you know, you don't even have to do in the first place, and I'm sorry, like, you know what? Sure, like, repetitive sounds. I'm not gonna stop everyone from doing repetitive sounds in the world. Just around me when I notice that you're doing it, and especially if my echolalia is really like sensitive that day, please don't make those sounds in front of me. Please. Because, like I said, you will do it for this short amount of time, and for maybe even the rest of my life I'll be doing it. Constantly. My best friend here at App Clay, he whistles a lot, and like, that's fine. And some days it won't bother me as much, especially since he'll be doing different notes. And it's not just like how Sammy should do at home, where it's like one note over and over and over again. <laughs> but sometimes, especially if during the day, if I really notice him doing it, and my echolalia is like, wow, I want to be a meanie butt today, I'll have to ask him, like, please stop. And he'll, like, feel bad about it and everything. I'm like, don't feel bad. Like, you don't, you don't know. Sometimes you forget. Sometimes people, like, off, off-handedly, not even at the top of their mind, they're just doing repetitive sounds. Like, it's okay. It's really okay. And I try my best. Like, I don't get mad at Clay for it. And I did for years at Sam, like, get so mad at him for making these sounds when literally, like, three hours ago, we told, we told you not to do that. Or, like, sometimes we're like, 
three seconds ago we said not to do that and then he'd always want to like rebel and he and like when we said to him like don't do that he, here we go sam like eight years old like clicking his tongue don't do that, Sam. You know why, after so many years, like, all we have to say is, you know why. Like, not we don't have to go into the whole depth of, like, Emma has Tourette's and she has echolalia and she'll repeat after you, whatever. You know why. Come on, Sam. You know why. Okay, guys. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. Three seconds later. <coughs> wow, I'm in a dorm room. That probably, like, that was loud. My RA lives right there, too. <laughs> attractive. You know that cliche, patience is a virtue? Um, when you're growing up with Tourette's, <sighs> patience is the only thing that can get you through. So many things, like school, friends, family life slash home life, many, many different situations, bullies, every, like, every, like, Patience is a thing, and I haven't considered myself the most patient person ever. And that's probably because, like, the first 10 years of my life, I used up all of it. If this was a gas tank, and, like, the gas tank filled up the patience that you can have all of your life, and it's full, right? Um, let's see, like, age 5, when I'm diagnosed with Tourette's and everything, and a few more, like, the two, two other comorbid disorders. Okay, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we're out. No more patience. I mean, like, I know that's not the way things work, but I'm trying to be funny, laugh at my jokes. Be patient. People don't understand. I do have patience. I just don't have a lot of it, but still, like, try. I always try so hard. People don't get it, and that's okay. And it's, o it it's okay to explain and make them understand you know like give them the information they can be receptive to it or not we're all living in this world we do what we want most of the time that's it for this video um thanks for watching like comment subscribe thanks guys bye